Okay, so first of all, go to data and then get data from file and from folder. Then select the folder that you want and click open. This is a list of all of the files in that folder and I'll select combine and transform data. It shows us the first file as an example and click on OK. And now we have all of the files combined together in one query. But our files have extra rows at the top that we want to remove. In order to do this, we need to go to the Queries pane and you might have to open this and then go to Transform Sample File. Now this is the first file in the folder and Power Query uses this as an example. So any changes that we make here will also be applied to all of the other files in the folder before they are combined together. So we can go to Remove Rows and Remove Top Rows and then put in the number of rows that we want to remove. So I'll put in one and OK. And then an alternative method for this is to select one of the later columns and filter it to remove the blanks and OK. And this also removes the row at the top. And this method will work if you have a different number of rows at the top of each of your files. Then we can go to use first row as headers. And now we've made all of the changes that we want to the sample file. So we can now go back to the final query. And this has an error because the final step here, change type, is looking for columns that are called column one and column two and so on. But because we have now changed the column headings, it can't find them anymore. So we need to delete this step and then click somewhere inside the query and press Control A to select all and then go to transform and detect data type in order to reapply the changed type step and then go to home and close and load. And now we have all of the files combined together in an Excel spreadsheet. And that is everything.